What's up, fellow gamers? It's Nightwing here, the We Live Game Reviewer, bringing you yet another review. This time, it's the wife requested My Sims for the Nintendo Wii. Now, this game is a very different change of pace for me, isn't it? Story for My Sims. The mayor has contacted you and is telling you the story of her town. Now, her town was a pretty unique town, and it was prosperous and filled with life, and it was considered a five-star town. Anyway, the town had a wonderful creator who was able to build with something called essences. He could appeal to every type of Sims personality, and he was just a wonderful, happy guy. However, the famous builder mysteriously left. No, he didn't die. No Sims die in this game. And, in a result, all the Sims decided, okay, there's nothing for us here, so we're going to move away. But, there is a new person coming to this town who can build with essences, and that would be the player. Concept for this game. Okay, so first, let me just say that My Sims is a game that is filled with hundreds of concepts. It would actually be fruitless for me to tell you every single concept, so I will just explain the most important. First things first, the mayor isn't talking to herself, she's talking to you. Now it's your job to go and create your own avatar, your own creation, your own whatever you want to call it, your own sim, basically. Unfortunately, this Sims game was not able to capture my exact likeness, although it did get the hair color right and the mustache, but not the beard. In any case, you can go and customize your avatar to pretty much anything you want. So it's pretty similar to The Sims 2 and its other predecessors where you can design your sim in any way you want. Oh my goodness, now I'm Mr. Rogers. Don't tell me I stuck with this one. I must have. Anyway, the next part of creating your sim is his voice. Now, you have a bar where you can change or lower, and since my voice is so low anyway, it took a while for me to find exactly how my sim would sound like me. Regrettably, you didn't really come close. Next is naming your sim. For the purpose of this review, I named him Nightwing. And he actually does kind of look like me now. With the exception to the angry look on his face, I'm, I'm usually a much more pleasant fellow. Anyway, we're still customizing. I like the leather jacket. Why don't we do the leather jacket? Oh, okay, well, that's what I wear to work sometimes. Next concept is, of course, to build your house. Seeing as that this mayor didn't even give you your own house, you have to build it. I loved her initial reaction. She brings you to the spot where your house is supposed to be, and she's like, Oh dear, there's no house. Guess what, gamers? You have to build it. Yeah, I know, it's a crappy little shack, but I'll make it all grand and wonderful later. But actually, I probably won't. The next concept is, of course, it's your job, not the mayor's, to invite the different sims back to town. And then, not only being the architect, you also have to convince them, okay, this is a great place to live when really it's not. My wife's town? That's another story. My town? You don't want to live there. Anyway, you go through this whole ordeal of getting these different sims and convincing them to stay here, build them a house, and at the same time, you have to put up with all their ridiculous requests, like furniture, and I need this, and I need that, and then basically you're kind of like their lapdog, and you have to go and you have to do these different tasks. And there are a lot of things you have to build, from sinks to toilets to ice cream stands, beds. The Sims don't even have their own beds. Luckily, you get tons of different blueprints, which add to the joy. Another thing that's a part of this concept is actually collecting the essences. Most of the time, you're going to end up digging for them. So yeah, who knew that you could dig and actually get a soccer ball, leaves, or even puppies out of the ground? Controls for my Sims. First off, let me just say that I have no problem with how this game is controlled. In fact, I'm playing a video game inside of a video game inside of a video game. I mean, how cool is that? I'm literally here, I'm playing the game, my Sim's playing the game, but I'm playing a game in real life and so is a Sim. 
I mean, isn't that just wonderful? Anyway, my intellect is truly dizzying. In any case, the controls are great. I have no issues with them. In order to move your character, you just use the nunchuck, the actual, uh, I don't know what they call it, joystick on the nunchuck, and it's pretty straightforward. To build things, it's simple. You point the Wiimote at the screen, and then you use the A button to build stuff. In order to collect essences and shake trees and stuff, hit the A button, then hit the B button underneath, and just shake the remote, and you shake the tree. It's pretty simple. The camera is simply controlled with the up pad on the game pad on the Wiimote. Controls are great. Designed for this game. Now, design is what this game is all about. What you're going to be seeing in the next few minutes are my best designed buildings. And sadly, compared to my wife's, they're nothing but Legos. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But design is where this game is at. That's my best designed building. I love that building. Yes, that's not a lighthouse, it's a church. Well, if you can call it a church, it's like a very small church. Now we see my wife's designs. And as you can see, I have some serious... Well, actually, she owns me seriously. I mean, look at this stuff. This is just insane. I mean, I can't even build anything like this. It's not fair. And it's like, oh, I'm the big hardcore gamer, but look at my wife's design. It's like ultimate ownage against me. It's just not fair. I mean, I, I can't even look at this stuff. I mean, look at how good it is. It's like, Nightwing, your buildings suck compared to this. It's like, oh, I agree completely. But what I love about this game is the fact that EA has given you limitless abilities to create based on your own imagination. And I do have to say that my wife's imagination is much better than mine. I mean, hey, she did marry me, right? Ooh, yeah, I know. History for this game. My favorite part of the review. Anyway, My Sims is based after the staple Sims franchise. Of course, it was made chibi and anime style in order to please the Japanese public. Did it work? Don't know. Bad aspect about this game. Well, the desert is boring, collecting essences can become a pain, and am I grave digging? Grave robber! <laughs> anyway. Oh, of course the transition from day to night is just terrible. And the fact that Sims can't get married. Although this is a kid's game, it still makes your sim feel very lonely that the fact that they can never visit each other like an Animal Crossing, there's no online support, and there's no way for you to ever truly be happy. Enjoy this little montage I created. I showed this to my wife first, she really, really liked it. Funny. Okay, so that about sums it up. Sims can't get married, and, you know, what, what's the point of Sims? Except me, I, I am married. Alright, good aspect about this game. Alright, so what would be the great things about this game? For starters, what makes this better than Sims 2, your Sim doesn't die, you don't need to use the bathroom, you don't even need to worry about hygiene or cooking, or even feeding your sim. You don't even have to worry about entertaining your sim. EA has made this game for everybody, meaning that the whole point of this game is to just have a blast. There's so much you can do in this game, and everything that you do just makes your sim look like he's having a... What is my sim doing? Did my wife film this part? Because I don't remember my sim. Nightwing does not have tea parties. He doesn't. Just doesn't plays video games, that may be true, but my sim just utterly fails. Anyway, you can change every sim in the game, you can rebuild their house, you can decorate them, you can kick them out, you can relocate them, and you can invite new sims. You can build as much as your imagination wants. This game is a lot of fun, I recommend it. It gets a 7 out of 10. I want to wish a very happy birthday to my wife. I love you babe so much. Thanks for being in my life. My next review is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. God bless and happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching.